doing? <clears throat> um, Greg Fox here. Uh, just gonna kind of go over my weekend. Today's sort of a down day. Um, and it's a little bit warmer today too, so not a lot of... This weekend was cold at night. Got down into the 30s. But, but the days are pretty nice. So when it gets warmer like that, I tend not to get as many calls. Plus I've had my leads turned off on some of my uh, generation sites. I got a couple leads, but I turned them down on Thumbtack. And um, and I haven't had very many home warranty calls come in. I just have to go back Tuesday on one of the home warranty calls and change out a zone board. And uh, that's all I have set up for that. But I just kind of wanted to go over my install that I did this weekend. So I did an install on a uh, house it was uh, I was changing out a 75,000 BTU furnace changed out with another 80% uh, three and a half ton system so the um, my son my son helped me out with it so I'm kind of I'm help, I'm training him to be a helper on the job you know he works a full-time job during the week and then has to come help me you know two days on the weekend so I know I'm not gonna get a hundred percent out of him but but he did help out an awful lot and I really appreciate uh, everything he did for us because like I said he could have had those two days off it was Super Bowl Sunday this weekend too and I, he's not a big football fan but um, but he didn't even mind he just came out and helped his dad and I really appreciate that um, it took us two days to put the job in. We started Saturday. I do the majority of the work. He does the, um, he tapes and seals all the registers with the, uh, with the hard cast tape. And he puts the thermostats up, helps me with the grunt work, you know, moving the stuff around. But the majority of the, you know, technical part of the install, I have to do myself. And I feel like I'm busting my butt out there doing it, but, but it, um, you know, still takes about a day and a half altogether. We spent about eight and a half hours on the first day and about four or five hours on the second day. Got home just in time for the Super Bowl. And Denver won. Peyton Manning. Most all-time wins. It's our quarterback. Oldest starting quarterback in a Super Bowl championship. Yeah, he's my boy. I'm an old Indiana guy. I'm an Indiana guy. I'm, I'm born and raised in Indiana, so I'm a big Peyton Manning fan. Props to him. Anyways, um, so we got the install done. Here in California, we have to do the uh, Title 24 uh, standard testing. We have to uh, hire a third party to come out and verify that the duct work is less than 15% leaky uh, and that the refrigerant charge in the air conditioning is optimal and also airflow to the system has to be a, a, a certain uh, measurement. So so with the tape and seal, my son goes around, tapes and seals all the registers, he pulls down all the registers, and then he tapes between the can and the sheetrock. That generally helps out the majority of all you have to do uh, for sealing up the, the, uh, the duct work. But that little gap is enough for the air to hit the register and bounce back up into the attic, and then essentially, you have a little bit of a leakiness going on so we find that about you know upon arrival systems are typically between 20 to 30 percent leaky uh, depending on how their duct work is and um, by the time we leave it has to be below 15 percent so his duct work looked really good he had that that black vinyl duct work with the um, fiberboard you know little cheese boxes um, for plenums and um, uh, little, you know, J-box connections there where the trunk will branch off. All that looked really good, as much as I could see. It was a pretty cluttered attic, but we passed the duct test at eight percent. He said seven or eight uh, percent leakiness, so that's perfect. If I had changed out all the ductwork, I would have to have it below six percent. So he almost has as good a ductwork as new. So that means with a three and a half ton system, 
you're allowed for every one ton that of, of air of airflow, one ton of air conditioning you have, you're allowed 60 CFMs. So for a three and a half ton system, you're allowed 210 CFMs of air loss from this from the ductwork. And we were at that would be 15 percent, and we were at 8 percent. It's really good for a 20 year old duct system. Airflow to the system we had an 18 inch return. So I usually, I usually think that I'm going to get about 1,100 CFMs uh, coming through. Would be awesome uh, for every ton of air. You have to have a minimum of 300 CFMs getting to the system for California to pass it. So that's 369, uh, 1050 that has to get to the system. And we had uh, 1350 CFMs getting through that 18 inch duct to the system. So I enlarged the return from 20 by 25 to a 20 by 30. And that allowed for about 1200 CFMs of air. And in all actuality, he was able to get 1350 through there. So, so that all worked out. Um, with the refrigerant line, it's about 65 degrees when we um, when we started the system up, and my my hers Raider wants it to be 70 degrees inside, but it was gonna take a while to chart to heat that house up. It was still pretty cold, so he said let's just uh, weigh it in, and he figured the line. We figured the line set was about 70, 75 degree um, feet long. So we figured the line set was about 70 to 75 feet long. So we added two pounds, two ounces to the system. And that was enough for the HERS Raider to verify that it had proper refrigerant charge. <clears throat> like I said, it was pretty cold, so the temp so the pressures looked up pretty low. But um So overall, I thought the install went really well. Um, we have the code, you know, hopefully the homeowner calls the code inspector, has him come out and check it out. Um, but I was pretty happy with it. Um, had to run a J box again at the air conditioning. I hate when that, when the old disconnect is behind the air conditioning or behind it, it was, you know, it, to me, any any service technician would be able to just grab it, see it right, you know, see it, and just flip the box up right there and have access to it. But technically, it has to have 36 inches of clearance be in front of it and like 30 inches to walk up to it. So, so I had to uh, J box that old <coughs> wiring coming from the line and uh, run a new, run it to a new disconnect over on the side of the house. Um, let's see, today, not a lot going on, and I'm glad, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like spent, I worked seven days last week, and I could really use a couple, couple down days here, which I think I'm going to get, uh, because, uh, because like I said, it's warming up a little bit, at least during the daytime. But I do have a quote right now I'm going over to do. I'm gonna do, run a quote. Lady uh, says her, said they had another company come out and said that her compressor's bad and could we give her a quote on the compressor? So I had been in touch with her before, uh, probably a couple months ago and she, she was like, she was like, hey, I think we need a new air conditioning. Can you replace it? Blah, blah, blah. And so I said, well, let's, you know, let's get out there and take a look at what you got first. And, you know, I'm, I'm not, um, you know, maybe your system can be salvaged and will still run. So, so she said, okay, well, let's, you know, call me in February and, and let's get, let's get something set up. So I guess apparently in the meantime, she had had somebody else come out and say, yeah, you have a bad compressor. So I called her back. I like to follow up with my people, 
And good thing I did because she was like, hey, can you come out and give me a, a, an estimate on how much that would cost to uh, change out my compressor? So, so maybe it's the condensing unit, maybe it's the compressor. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on with her, but well, we're gonna go check that out, and then I'm gonna go home, clean up my truck because installs beat the heck out of your truck. <laughs> it's all dirty right now. I need to clean it up. restock all my bins and everything like my gas connection PVC my seal tight and all that stuff so that's about it for me I'm going to get this quote I'm gonna go home get this truck cleaned up get the trucks restocked get my garage cleaned out and um, yeah, hopefully some calls will come in eventually give me calls I'll go run them Alright guys, that's it for today. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.